let's get start demo first so this is same series of blazor uh, fluent ui with blazor card operation so we have cover everything like list add edit operations and now we'll uh, implement this delete operation so once i click this delete so you are able to see uh, one dialog box one confirmation box actually see this confirmation box and here is a two button like yes or no if user is agree so they can able to delete or if it is not agree then it should not be delete so first i just create a no so nothing will happen but once i click yes it should be delete see it's trying to delete one by one so almost done and now i'm just click it okay so let's get a start implementation so before I start the implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit in my channel so go to my uh, .NET real world examples uh, channel youtube channel and here you can watch out my uh, all fluent ui series uh, from starting from here this is the first series then i just create a grid and then also then add edit of forms and then finally i will do in here in this session for delete operations so let's open a uh, same example which i complete my last session which is called is fluent ui card operations also this uh, link you can available in my github link so check out my github link and you can take this uh, repository as well so first of all what i need to do it's very simple and you know uh, think i i need to do on this delete operation because it is uh, will use over here you know that's i dialog service which i also explain everything but yeah this is important like uh, how we can achieve this with this uh, confirmation box right so that confirmation box if you go to the home or, or directly if you go to over here this home component right so go to their home component first and just go to on top here is the one uh, dialog service which i use actually it is providing by flint ui uh, blazor service right so that's i actually inject and uh, once i inject in the here i'm able to see see uh, in this uh, few dialog box right so if you show information right so see there's a many method actually we we can use this i dialog box services right so as of now just if you want to show some uh, information so you can use this method show informations or if you want to some confirmations so then you can use that confirmation uh, see show confirmation with async and without async so i will use uh, with async method and just remove as of now and once i start over here see there is a many two overload method right first of overload method first is you can just pass that message and then primary text is yes and secondary text is no and then title you, you can send is null but i want some additional parameters so that's why i will use the second overload method which is i need to actually send the receiver with this callback functions because you know we have to handle as well here if users click yes so i need to handle some additional callback function if it is no son then i can leave it right so that's why i will use this uh, overload method of show confirmation async method okay so my first this is receiver so what is the receiver you can just use this this okay and down second is a callback function so before you know write this callback function actually i can just mention that callback function whatever you know we can use as a normal name over here so i can just use a call callback function name is you know handle confirmation result so don't worry about that i will implement this function this callback function as well so let me bring this and also bring this okay so this call, callback function i will implement just now but yeah i just first specify all the parameter first then i will move it to uh, that implementation okay so now see the confirm uh, callback function also i mean specify then i want to specify the message so what message you want so i just want to say you know are you sure sure to are you sure sure you 
want to delete or proceed whatever uh, message you want you can just put as per your convenience so i will put it as a proceed and then question mark and then let me see other uh, parameter as well now see now other parameter is uh, we can say primary text is yes and secondary text is no right so i can just put as of now yes actually by default taking it yes but you if, if you want to change so you can ch change over here as well so yes and then pass it to no and yes no and then whatever title you want you can just pass it to over here so it should be a confirmation uh, confirmation dialog so i can put it as a confirmation and uh, that's it right so let me close this so this is done now we will implement this handle confirmation result so how we can implement it is very simple again just create a async method and with the sync method definitely we have to use the task and then use this callback function name whatever name you want to use so you can just put same name it is not defined only you can use this name but yeah you can change it whatever name like for example handle confirmation only uh, something like that so you can use it so let me pass it the parameter actually here the expect parameter over here is that a uh, no dialog result so which i can specify over here so see this dialog result actually expect this callback function so put it that dialog result as a result result and then finally what i need to do i need to here i can handle this uh, no result whatever result actually we are getting over here right if user can click yes so i can get yes if you click the no so i can get the no so that's why actually i created this function so let me find this okay user what user actually uh, press uh, the button right so let me check like result dot cancellation see here this many things over here like here the cancellation cancel data and this other stuff but i'm not using data and stuff over here but uh, upcoming session we can use that data but here we'll check like okay is user cancel or not you can get it with this property and if is cancel so that definitely it will true or if it is not that it will false right so if it is not equal to cancel that means user click that yes button right if it is cancel so definitely if it is cancel true that means user click that no so we need to find yes yes click event right and once user click the yes click event what i will to do i just you know uh, i want to call our you know delete service so which i can use our service which i inject already so this is my block service dot delete delete async and then here i need to pass this delete id right so there actually one more things i have to do this id actually i can get over here but i i can't able to get over here directly by this parameter right so there need to do some additional stuff but i don't want to do over here i can just simply i can store here that id uh, for example let me create a property for that delete id so let me private uh, is or or just delete id and as a it is an integer so put as an integer so i just create a delete id over here and we can store this delete id once i click this you know confirmation box the delete click event here i can just store and that i can use it there is a many way you can use it but yeah i can use it as a demonstration perspective it's simple way so i can use this delete id and once go to that you know handle confirmation uh, method i can pass it to our call it our service and i can pass it to our delete id so here is the handle uh, confirmation result here once i delete from the database what i can do simply i need to decorate with this you know reset visibility component and what i can do i can just load our uh, now the data whatever data is a load functions actually we again 
we have to load whatever the latest data so i can call this function again so that what once delete again i can get this the hold the data and store this our variable in this uh, blog model or collections and this blog model collection can you know uh, bind in our grid right so that's why i call again the loads blocks all the blocks and then finally show list equal to true so that that grid whatever i usual component of grid that can be visible so this is done and let me rebuild okay once is complete succeed actually the build what i will do just let me run and see in actions how is behaving or whatever be implementation for delete confirmation box so now it's working fine and uh, once i click delete now i can able to see that confirmation box right with this yes and no so what i will do i will just first try with yes and then i will try to know so once i click yes see the is less uh, record deleted right so once i yes 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 now see everything is dead except this so what i will do just click no so not, nothing will happen with the no but yeah once i click yes it should be delete so i will show you as a debugging mode as well actually how is working so open that uh, example here click that over here and also just debugging point this handle method as well so go back here delete now see once you click delete you will get this id as well as this confirmation works function and then once i click here here now see uh once i complete that you know click event that pop-up will show uh, once you click yes then that callback function actually that you know function will call right so once i click yes then this function is calling and here see cancel false and also you will see some more data over here see the color icons and everything actually over there with the but this is a related to our you know data right so let me see over here it is cancel no it is not cancel actually so that's why i call over here then reset and show list and final continue so now has gone right so this is very simple and before close this session i just want to wrap up like actually what we have done so i just want to show you so first of all what you need to do you just need to create a delete event which already created and then you just need to assign id and then you have to call delete service delete dialogue service and show confirmation method you have to use and here there's a overload method i have used where i can just pass that you know uh, handle confirmation uh, callback function and also you can just pass some message and also event and then uh, you can just implement this you know handle confirmation and you know, a callback function over here you can handle that okay so user is click that yes or no based on this actually you can just call your logic right so this is simple so that's all for this session and uh, please uh, keep continue watching learning and don't forget to subscribe like and share